Coverage of CES is sponsored by us. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe for more coverage on CES 2026. All right, check this one out, man. You got plenty of connections here. Temperature controller, right? Power on, RGB lighting, fail alarms, OS. Oh, you got one, two. Push a button here for your actual GPU, all right? Push button. Another button here that you push in here, so the whole thing comes off like that. You have one, two in here. And of course, this one base comes in here too, and it comes off too, but it's in here, right here. And then you have one, this one too. This one goes on this side too, I believe. Oh yeah, here's a button. On this one, you push the button. It comes off here, the main one. Your video card. Locks in place. On this one right here, comes out of here. Oh man, there's so many of them in this one. See that? There it goes, there it goes. Locks in place. This plate hole comes out. I like this push of a button. Let me show you from the other side view, all right? So push button, plate comes off. Got one, two, three, four M.2s that you can put in here, NVMEs, all right? Releasing video card, NVMe, the main one here. Locks in, one more up here. Two for your memory, DDR5s in here. Plenty of connections for your motherboard. Power and reset built into the actual system. Now it does have power controllers in here. There's two additional ones here. USBs, we have plenty of fans, RGB lights. But unfortunately this one only has two slots for the actual DDR5s, all right? So, but the system is heavy duty, very heavy because of all the metal and all the color that it has.